Okay, so we're going to use these uh, samples that we made. Uh, first, we're going to take the salt off and make sure that you um, are careful with that salt, um, that you get that in the trash. So don't just flick it everywhere. Make sure you wipe that on up. But you want to go ahead and get the salt off of your um, salt experiment watercolor. And then we're going to use these samples um, as collage paper. So then cut those pages um, into separate pages and set them off to the side. And we're going to use those to create our own ocean scene like the hermit crab uh, was able to experience. And so Eric Carle made an amazing under the ocean scene in every page of his book. And we're going to uh, create our own ocean scene in the same style. All right, now you should have gotten a blue sheet of paper uh, in your packet of materials during the iPad pickup day. If you did not, you can just use a regular white sheet of art paper, and that's fine. Uh, if you want to even paint uh, the white sheet blue with your watercolors or color it in with crowns, whatever, it's fine. So um, first I'm going to use one of my warm color sheets to uh, create like the ground of the ocean, the ocean floor. And see, if I just um, put two pieces together like that, I'm going to create an ocean floor. And I'll use a piece of seaweed later uh, to cover up that seam. Now I'm just doing a line of glue at the bottom, and that way it will make tucking uh, seaweed and other things in the bottom much easier. Then I'm going to start drawing on the back. Um, by drawing on the back, it's great because um, if I make mistakes, uh, the lines and the erase marks don't show up, so I don't damage that beautiful color on the front. And I am going in super duper fast forward mode. Um, I'm going about eight times faster than normal. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly cut out all of the seaweed um, and kind of arrange them first before gluing it all down. I'm gonna do this for all of my ocean um, life that I have down here at the bottom of the ocean uh, is draw it on the back, cut it out, figure out where I wanna place it, and then just use a small amount of glue to place it. All right, so I've just put a little dot of glue on each one of my uh, things of seaweed so I can tuck other sea creatures behind it and kind of weave them in and out. Now I'm going to use, uh, I made a starfish, and did you see how I drew that on the back first, um, and then um, cut it out and glued it? Same with my coral, and what's cool about this is that the, both the positive and negative, like the shapes that I left, created a second coral, which was kind of cool. I'm going to draw a fish, which is just drawing an oval and some fins and a tail fin on the back. And you can use your markers to draw a face, or you can cut paper out um, uh, for an eyes and nose for the face. Either way works great. So here I cut out a little piece of cool colors um, for my fish, which was all warm colors. But there I drew a little spiral on the um, shell for my snail. All right, I'm gonna finish up creating my sea creatures. Um, and I want you to create your sea creatures and I'm sure you really fill up your space with all different kinds of sea creatures. All right. Well, this is looking fantastic, and I know that yours is going to look amazing, too. I can't wait to see it. All right. Bye.